Listen to this. Sound for a feast indeed. I wish I had him here. I give him a piece of my mind to feast upon. He'd had indigestion for a month. <laughs> but dear, the children, it's Christmas. It needs to be Christmas to drink to a rotten, hard, stingy old miser like Scrooge. But Ethel... <clears throat> you know he is, Bob, and no one knows it better than you. Very well. To Christmas, my dear. <laughs> children... We shall drink to your father, and for all the health and happiness we wish him, to Tiny Tim, for the health we wish him, and for your father's sake, I'll even drink to that old miser, Mr. Scrooge. Long life to him and to us all. A Merry Christmas to us all. Bless us, everyone. A Merry Christmas to us all. Bless us, everyone. You know, Scrooge, there are a few things more nauseating than seeing a happy family enjoying themselves at Christmas. Do you not agree? I think Bob Cratchit is really rather fond of me. And so is his wife, couldn't you tell? Uh, she really doesn't know me. That is one of the few things wherein fate has blessed her. Uh, what will become of Tiny Tim? What's this, concern over a sick child? Have you taken leave of your senses? Don't mark me, spirit. Is the child very sick? It's not of great importance to me whether he is or not, but is he? Of course he's sick. You mean he's very ill? Will he die? Or will he live? What does it matter to you? If he's likely to die, he might as well get along with it and decrease the surplus population. Yes, turn away. But it may be that in the sight of heaven you are more worthless and less fit to live than millions like this poor man's child. Who are you to pronounce that there is too much life among your less fortunate brothers and sisters? And yes, he is very likely to die. Come along now, we have one more call to make. Thank you. Don't take it, don't take it. Don't take it. 